Oh, it's so bright. Damn, I just walked outside, y'all. Where are my sunglasses? This cow here. In case you didn't know that, my wife's watching me. It makes it hard to vlog when somebody's watching me. I don't know what to do with my hands. No. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. This video is going to be a two-parter. I wanted to kind of share what I'm doing for the exclusive content over on the Patreon account. So I'm doing a whole series of behind the scenes videos with Kylo. This video is mainly in the pharmacy. Like it's an entire day from when I get up, have my coffee, go to work. I do several minutes of vlogging at work and then I come home and I go flying. I'm gonna make the flying part two. So this is gonna be Kylo on the ground and then go ahead and subscribe and you can see when I release Kylo in the air. So again, two parts. This is just a day with Kylo. I hope you enjoy it. So, excuse the lack of clothing. She's asleep, I might have to be quiet too. But this is where the magic happens. Piled up in the bed, my laptop here. And I sit here and I make videos. I edit some videos. She's growling at me already. She went, uh, do it again, honey. Mm. Growl at me. Show them how you do it. Mm. Hey, baby. Did you make any coffee? Well, I thought you were supposed to pour me a cup. She usually does it on her own. But her job recently changed so that she has to go to work an hour earlier. So she get up well before I do. We used to have our coffee in bed together, but that's a thing of the past now. So I just woke up. The first thing I do is I look for my coffee, like, no damn coffee. And then I look out the window and see what the wind's doing. We got a nice tree out there. It seems to be Neil. There's not a leaf moving. Then I check the weather forecast. Good morning, love. <laughs> Good morning. You're such a <laughs> what? Difficult man. Am I difficult? Oh, check it out, y'all. Put some cream in the coffee, like some, some squirt foam on top. That's new. Might be full of cyanide too. <laughs> My plan was to fly to work this morning. Winds aloft are blasting at 2,000 feet or 30 miles an hour. Calm on the ground. That means that there is a massive wind shear up there somewhere. At least massive to paragliders. It could just be right over the trees. It could be and plus 30 miles an hour out of the south. I'll be doing a crosswind flight into that. It's just not something I feel like tackling. Mornings are bad enough. Just having to get up and go to work hurts my feelings. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was the plan, but uh, as is planned, I don't think it's going to work out. I don't think the coffee is poisoned that bad this morning. It seems to be keeping me alive. We'll figure it out. I may have to opt out of flying from work today. I got a lot of packing to do for this endless foot drag. Oh, what a beautiful day. I definitely could have sent it. Probably been scared to death the whole time. I've got buku chores to do to get packed up and ready to go to this thing. But I got a video made and I'm gonna go to the library and upload it right now. I guess we could do that. And then I gotta go to the pharmacy and put in a day at the pharmacy. But after work today, I got to get some flying in this video somewhere. You guys are obviously here because you're fans of paramotor and paramotor content. So let's go to work. I don't have good internet at home. And it's not fast enough at the drugstore yet. So the way I upload videos is I come up here to the public library. Willie and Mary Mac Branch of the Webster Parish Public Library System. Almost a daily fixture here. They all know me. They'll probably say something when I walk in. Let's see. Say hi, y'all. Now we're at the mall pharmacy again, and the day repeats itself. Yeah, just a couple more days of work, and I've got a week off. Hey, guys. I'm here. 
You don't want to be on the behind the scenes vlog? Hey, what's up, Scarlett? Nothing. Tell us about your new little dog here. This is Khaleesi. We named her off of Game of Thrones. You watch Game of Thrones? Not me, my dad. <laughs> I heard that you shouldn't probably dog? watch that. So Khaleesi? Khaleesi. Khaleesi the Chihuahua. Mother of dragons. Mother of dragons. And we, and we have her a But she's so sweet. She's not a dra dragon's may be sweet too, I guess. Are dragons sweet? Yes. If I had a dragon, that would be a sweet one. And I would fly it every day to work. Yeah. And home and after work. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even work. I'd probably just fly my dragon all day, every day. I would teach it to blow fire at stuff and then I would just fly around burning shit. That would be my daily adventure. I would. I would do it. I'm a pyro. I wouldn't be able to help myself. It would just come out of me. Do we have any customers in here? Here, we need some, we need some girls. Y'all ready? Come on, girls. Be in the video. Hi. These are my favorite girls today. <laughs> For sure. This is my favorite brother. This is brother, Ryan. I, I did a donations page, bro. Oh, I spit on your nose there. Sorry. I, edit. Edit. What I was going to say was I have a donations page and people are donating money. And I promised them exclusive content only for people that donate ten dollars a month or more. And we've got about fifteen so far. That's so cool. I'm making behind the scenes videos that are not her motor related, although there will be some of that coming soon. But I thought I would show them some like, Hey Jennifer, I'm gonna go flying instead of out on a date with you and get the reaction. That's always good content there. <laughs> there it is good content. Oh, anyway. So, for today's lesson in a pharmacy compounding procedure, we're going to be making some trans transdermal Ativan gel. <laughs> Behind the scenes, they're making fun of me already. It's a pretty easy formula. We need some Ativan, a transdermal liposomal vehicle, and a little bit of propylene glycol to uh, solubilize it all. And that's what I'm about to do. Just an interesting factoid about... Uh, the little weights we use to balance the scale, you can't touch them with your bare fingers because the oils from your fingers, will, uh, you'll be weighing the balance weight plus the oil. So you gotta use gloves or tweezers or something to pick these things up. Our balance is within proper limits. So, let's pull some drug here. Oh yeah, the controlled substance. So we need to be extra careful about documentation in case the Gestapo comes in here, tries to burn us down. And show them at least we're doing things right around here. Uh, paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Okay, we're gonna cut to the fun stuff. This chemical, nah, it's not hazardous to me. If it was, we'd be wearing all the safety gear. We need 300 milligrams. 301 milligrams it is. Well within the range that we need. I'm gonna dope this just a little bit. This is our special liposomal base cream right here. I'm just putting it in this so it's easier to work with. We need 100 grams of this stuff. Boom. Now, we do what we call geometric dilution. What that means is we basically double the size of the pile that you're stirring until you, you know, like two times two is four. Double that, you got eight. With that, you got 16. Same thing we're doing here. We're just diluting it geometrically. With a thorough mixing each time ensures content uniformity. Content uniformity is important because you don't want to get like a huge chunk of drug in one drop, but not the next drop. That would be a poor content uniformity. So we aim for excellence here. Reminds me of cooking, kind of. Except you're using drugs and chemicals. Now we're going to put it in these syringes. First, I'm going to put it in this container. And this medication is for a hospice patient. Can't really do much by mouth, so we're mixing this. They've, they've had her on it for some time. It uh, keeps her calm, keeps anxieties down. Actually, a really good drug for that. And the way we're delivering it through the skin makes it... Uh, well, first, you don't want to get any on you because then you'd probably have to go home from work. Probably make you sleepy, sleepy, and not care. They say it's akin to like maybe getting drunk or something. I don't know. I'm not a drug abuser. I can't really speak 
what it's like to take this. <laughs> I'm weary to get it on me though. <laughs> All right, to the sink with that. I can make a fart noise with my glove. I'm making some out of in jail. What you think about it? We're making a video. You don't want to be in the video? I do want to be in the video. Talk to the camera. There they are right there. <laughs> That's your audience. That's who you need to talk to when you're making videos. You look at the little lens there. You say, what's up? <laughs> what's up, players? So, why are you making this? A lady needs it. It's medicine for a lady who's dying. Aww. And it makes her feel better. So you have to fill all of those, or just a certain amount? Well, I'm going to fill as many as I can. I made a whole batch. I should be able to fill a hundred of them if my calculations are correct. I'm usually pretty close. Can I cap them? Well, actually, I'll tell you what. You don't need gloves for what I need you to do. Take the caps and set them up just like that and make a row of them. Mm. Right here, and slide all these over here to you. And I'll mess with the syringes, and you can just set the caps up for me. Mm -hmm. That way, whenever it comes time to cap them, all I gotta do is smash them on there. That would be super helpful. And we're not breaking any laws either. Can't have a non-licensed pharmacy technician messing around with the stuff. At least anything that's got drugs in it. But you can certainly lay those caps out for me. And that would be so helpful. Try to keep it legal at the mall pharmacy. <laughs> Always. Well, since you're my uncle. They don't um, bend the rules for anybody. It don't matter who I am. <laughs> But since you're my uncle, and you said I can do this, then you can. And you're the, and you're one of the bosses here. Mm-hmm. Cause you own part of the pharmacy. That means I can do it. That's right. Win-win. Mm-hmm. She's skipping school today. Ha ha ha. Used but to when I didn't want to go to school, I still had to. How did you get out of that? Well, we you had. Say you were gonna dog yeah. sit. That, oh and uh, we had field day yesterday. We didn't know parents can come, and my dad said he was going to check me out early, but he didn't. Oh, so this so, is your reward for not getting checked out early? Pretty much. Uh, what was your dad doing yesterday? He was uh, with my cousin instead of me. Which cousin? Gray. What was he doing with Gray? I don't know. He was with Gray for his field day. Oh, he went to the wrong school? Pretty much. Dang. That's pretty low down. And they were all the way in Texarkana. Oh, I know. I wonder if he had an ulterior motive. Well, he had to go because Gray didn't have anybody going. Oh, but you didn't have anybody to come either. <laughs> <laughs> I had Ian. I had Ian. Ah, uh, Ian. That's my boy. Does he take Cousin. care of you up there? Make sure no riffraff gets up, messes with you. He'll take care of it whenever I want him to. Perfect. If I don't want him to, I'll handle it myself. That's what I'm talking about. There's this one boy on the bus gets on my nerves. Really? And I kicked him one time. And now he does whatever I say. That's helpful. Maybe I should try that with Aunt Jen. You think if I kicked her, she would do whatever I say? No. You think if she kicked me, I would do what she said? Yes. You're probably right. Because boys aren't allowed to hit girls. But no one said that girls aren't allowed to hit boys. I said girls aren't allowed to hit boys. <laughs> yeah, but... Seriously, I don't want to get hit. And neither do girls. So you can't hit us. So nobody needs to hit anybody. Unless it's Everybody for can live reason. happily ever after. That's all it would really take, you know. Mm. Unless it's for a good reason. Well, again, the only good reason to hit somebody is if they're hitting you first. True. So if nobody's hitting, then there's no good reason. Exactly. I think we just figured out all the problems in the world, single-handedly. Me and this girl right here. Making drugs and solving problems. <laughs> I like it. There we go. Oh, look. Oh. We need about a hundred of them. If you can get me about a hundred of them, I oh. think we're going to be can just right. Can I count right. these? Yeah, of course. How'd you get small cuts in your skin? I don't know. You've been running through the jungle? No. But like there's this the swamp will do that to you. <laughs> but there's a type of fabric that makes my skin break out, and so it's like a rash. Pretty much, but it's not. Complete. What type of fabric is it? 
I don't know. You should maybe find that out and remember it's like that. Some type of like lacy fabric. Hmm. You ain't old enough to be wearing lacy fabric. Oh, that look well, you gave it's me. Like, I hope the camera got that. <laughs> she gave me the. Makes me. You know what really glitter is made out of, huh? Metal. Exactly. Colored little, metal. Little tiny pieces of foil. That would be irritating to the skin. Yes. Very now, why would you be covering yourself in glitter? I wasn't. Oh, somebody else was. They had glitter on their clothes, which made me start breaking out. Who's they? I don't know. There were too many people. Well, right. Where were you at? The CBC Center. Oh, you're talking about last night? Yes. Oh. And I still have it. You were at a party where people were glittered out. You got a case of glitter irritation. Pretty much. I bet I could make you some cream for that. We use Benadryl. <laughs> okay. Guess y'all beat me to the punch there. Charlie, come on. Hold on, she's helping. Hold on. I've got to count 40 more caps. 40 more? Mm -hmm. She needs 40 more caps, Uncle Ryan. I was going to time lapse this whole section, but I might include the conversation I had with Miss Scarlett. My brother's girls are fun. I don't know what I would do with my own girls. Probably be some kind of a wreck. <laughs> Rainy, how's your day? Going good. Brody, how's yours? She ain't in here. Where's Brody? I don't know where her went. Brody. It's all right. I'll put her face on the video, Rainy. Just your voice. How about that? That works just fine. Katrina! What does that say after every 12 hours? PRN. That does not say. No. Yes, it does. That's, that's that doctor's writing. So one every 12 hours is needed? He's a left-handed doctor. Writes terrible. It took me five years to learn to read what this guy writes. Yeah, that's an anti-nausea drug. One every 12 hours as needed for nausea. That's okay. what that says. Whatever you say, boss. I'm certain of it. 100%. I like how Katrina was careful to avoid the camera. She's picking up on the things that are going on around here. <laughs> She's allowed 10 texts per day. I will conclude today's compounding session with Kylo. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's no, it's much love. Kyle out. <laughs>I probably know who it was. Somebody flying in Houston. This is the newest Chihuahua in the family. Not my family. That's in my brother's family. Oh, it's a face licker too. You're a face licker too. Oh, we can't have that. Face licking is unacceptable behavior. This is my Chihuahua. Okay, Chihuahua time over. Take your dog. My doggy. What's up, man? What's up, David? All good. How are you? I'm on my way to the paramotor. You coming? I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Why? Why don't you know this? Through my Kansas, right? No, like out to the airport right now. Oh, you're going flying this afternoon. Oh, Thank I thought you. you were leaving. If I can come, I will. I just I'm right now in the middle of setting up a thermostat, and the wife just got home from a week trip. It's good chance I won't be there. Oh. <laughs> oh. You lose. Lose a day. Uh, is anybody else coming with you? I have no idea. Pro probably not. <laughs> I have high, I hope. you. have high hopes, but, you know. All right. What's your got a flight plan? What, you, what direction are you going to head, you think? I'm going to do practice, man. I'm going to do takeoffs and landings. Don't hold your breath. All right, David. See you, All bud. Right, see you. Later. I don't think David has the sickness as bad as I do. <laughs> I've got the sickness pretty bad. Look like you got a southwest, uh, a west-southwest wind. I hadn't even, I hadn't even looked at it yet. I'll go out there and, I mean, if it's a little bit west, southwest, that's okay. I'll just go up on the hill and launch it. I got you. Okay. Hi, Ben. Hi, right, man. You coming? Right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. All right, man. All right, bye. Maybe he does have this sickness after all.
It's been a rough couple of days at work. I got one more to go before I'm technically off. I still don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. The weather forecast is kind of kind of scraunchy for this part of the world for the next few days. But today looks good. Because today looks good, I'm going to take part in today. I see wind blowing everywhere, sun shining. I know it's going to be turbulent and bumpy, at least until the sun tones down a bit, but I got time. I'm going to go home and get my stuff. That's why I didn't bring it with me to work. I don't really have to rush this time of the year because I've got lots of time. I got time. I could just casually change clothes, casually put the paramotor onto the truck, casually drive out to the airport. There's no rush, man. I got daylight. I'll fly till I'm tired and land whenever I'm ready. Just thought I'd do some exercise tonight, just some local, local flying. Oh, I may fly from the house to the airport. I don't know. I don't know, I'll drive out there. I like to just change it up from time to time. I think my yard's probably pretty muddy still. I'm gonna check it when I get there and figure it out. So let's go do that. What y'all doing? What is that? Woo! <laughs> we, just, we just fished in the pond. Did you catch anything? Four bass, a white perch, and a couple of grim. Any big big size to them? Uh, about a pound, pound and a half. I've, let it, I've left it alone for a long so, while. I, I gotta go to a t-ball game. So. See you guys later. Later, brother. Bye. My brother and his buddies was fishing in my pond. Got the fish report. That's awesome. More behind the scenes Kylo. I've, I just whip the camera out whenever I have an interaction with somebody. <laughs> Except for work. Work work is just, uh, I guess you saw, I made a compound and then it was like several hours of just, just work, man. Hammering away at prescriptions, helping customers answer questions and solve mysteries and all in a good day's pharmacy work. Oh righty. I wonder what the ground is like. It's foot launchable, but I still think I'm gonna go out to the airport and capitalize on that. Hey, Dags. They're like, why the hell's he parked out in the yard? Hey, Chop. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Hey, Chopper. Hey, Starter. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing? Hey, Gizmo. Hey, Gizmo. You know what they say? Spoiler alert. Fine, jump in the truck. They say just eat good food. You, you just jump in the truck, why don't you? Yeah, I guess I'll drive to the airport. Say hi, Gizmo. Say hi. No, you're not licking me. In, uh, uh, no, you're not gonna lick me in the mouth. All right, let's get out. I've changed clothes. I have fueled up the paramotor. I've sent my son inside to get my glider. <laughs> Cause what are sons for if you can't make them go inside and get your glider because you're too damn tired from work. Ah. Uh... David said it was southwest, but I'm seeing southeast. Could be a cycle. We're gonna find out. We'll go to the airport and evaluate conditions. Back seat. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Bye. Love you. Bye, Dad. Love you. So we're good. We've got gliders. We've got helmets. Oh, damn, there's no GoPro. Oh, the GoPro's in here. I do have a GoPro. It turns out. Booyah! No, no, you can't go with me. I'm going flying. I know it hurts your feelings so bad. You, you want to go so bad. Oh, I'll give you some petting before I go. To the airport we go. Onward, upward. Up and down or up and down. Oh, every time. Every time. Tune in for part two coming up very, very soon. It will be the flight. I believe on this flight, I found a windsock that I had left from a previous flight a day or two earlier and nobody stole it. So this was like a windsock retrieval mission. Uh, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you hadn't. Much love to everyone, especially the Patreon supporters. This is kind of a taste of what they get on the exclusive content. And uh, I just wanted everybody to kind of get a heads up about what that was all about. So that's the kind of stuff I'm making, guys. Much love, everybody. Call out. Oh, I see it blowing around. Nobody stole it. <laughs> I would not have thought that. I would not have thought that that windsock would still be there.